Apocalypses. I've seen the question on the Ableton Live forum and on Modulate This on how do you create a multi-sampled instrument using just Ableton Live and Simpler? And the answer is to use instrument racks and also drum racks. I've recorded four samples, each of which is going to be our source layer. And these samples are just me saying the numbers one, two, three, four. And this will allow us to easily keep track of what layer we're working with. So I'll fire each clip just so you understand what's in each audio clip. One, two, three, four. So the first step is to create a blank instrument rack in a new track. And you do this simply by dragging the root folder instrument rack over and it creates a new track automatically and you'll notice that there are, are no instruments loaded in the rack. So if you grab an instance of Simpler and simply drop it in the rack, you'll now see Simpler appear. And if we click the Show High Chain List, you'll see there's the instance I just dropped. And I'm going to be working with four samples. I can quickly just grab other copies of Simpler and drop them in. So now we're going to have a rack with four versions of Simpler. It's always a good idea to label as you go so you can keep track of your work. And there's a keyboard shortcut, Control R, that lets you rename just about any anything you're focused on in Ableton Live. So I'm going to go ahead and rename each instance of Simpler. There we go. The next step is to drag our source samples onto each instance of Simpler. So I'll go ahead and select instance one. And I'm going to grab the clip one, select the next instance, grab the clip two, and I'm just going to repeat. And now if I press middle C on my MIDI controller, I'm going to hear all four samples going at the same time. The next step is to create a velocity split. To edit the velocity zones, you click this VEL button, which opens the velocity zone editor window. These red bars define the zone range for velocity for each instance of Simpler. So, so what this bar is saying is that from velocity zero, the sample that's loaded into instance one of Simpler will play. And since two is set up the same way, it's also sounding at regardless of the velocity of the key press and so on. So what we're going to want to do is edit these zones so that they will respond to different velocities. Simply grab the edge of each zone. So we're going to make it so that one sounds when you press lightly, play with light velocity and four sounds when you play with the hardest velocity all the way up to 127. And I want to also point out, if you grab the top bar, you can see that we can create a bit of an overlap between these two zones. I'll leave these as they are. To illustrate these different samples playing at different velocities, I've created a MIDI clip that I'm going to drop into the clip slot for the rack. And if I double click the clip, you'll see that I have quarter notes, and each quarter note is playing at a different velocity. So in theory, if I hit play on this clip, you're going to hear one, two, three, four, rather than all the samples playing at the same time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let me double click the track again, and I'm going to reopen the instrument rack. I want to point out that we've done some velocity zone edits, but you could have also done key edits where you had different samples playing at different key zones across the keyboard. So to finish off this demo, I want to show you how you can use the rack we just built as a pad instrument inside of a drum rack. So let's drop a drum rack 
to create a new track called Drum Rack. And I'm going to save this instrument rack. And first, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to press Control R and I'm going to call it modulate this. Zero, zero, 001. And I'm going to hide and click the Save button. And you'll see it creates a new file in the device browser. So if I switch back over to the rack and pick pad C2, I can drag to this pad. And now when I play this pad, I'm just going to use a MIDI keyboard to play it. I've just created a multi-sample drum pad. So to summarize, I've used instrument racks holding multiple instances of Simpler to create multi-samples. And then I used the Velocity Zone Editor to create a zone map to respond to velocity to play the appropriate sample. And then I saved my rack as a file and then used that to create a drum pad. So my source samples had me saying one, two, three, four, but the real power of this comes from, of course, multi-sampling acoustic instruments or, or creating radical multi-splits and layers to create very dramatic sounds.